Today, you're gonna to learn what sizes Google Display Ads can be shown in. We're gonna show you which ones are the best performing, as well as how we go about building multiple ads very, very easily and very, very quickly. And if you stick around to the end, I'll show you how you can get this PDF with all of the Google Display Ad sizes so you can print it off and have it sitting next to your desk. Stay tuned. If you like videos about Google Ads, do us a favor, hit the subscribe button below and the little bell icon next to it so you'll be notified of when we release new videos each and every week. Hi, I'm Mike Mancini, a Google Ads agency owner, a trainer, and a consultant, and I've been working with Google Ads for more than 15 years. Let's dive right in so we can talk about the Google Display Ads, what kinds of ads uh, that you can use that are the best performing ones, because you don't have to have all of them. And also, we're gonna show you exactly how we create our ads in a little quick software tip, uh, so you can do them very quickly, very easily, and you don't need to hire a graphic designer to do it. All right, let's get started. Now, when we're talking about Google display ad sizes, these are the ones that are actual image ads. If we're talking about search ads, those are the ones that are more text. When you go to google.com and you type in, uh, you know, plumber, you will see a text ad. Display ads are typically ones that you will see on other websites, such as a news website where you see an actual banner ad up on that website. Those are called display ads. All right, so what we did in this situation was we actually went straight to the source itself. We went right to Google, right uh, onto their website, but it gives you all of the ad size, but it also breaks it down as far as top performing, uh, meaning the ones that actually bring in the most clicks, the most conversions, the most business for people, and then other supported ad sizes. Now, this is just a personal preference, but, oh, and let me also touch on, there are also, also some regional ad uh, sizes that are in like Denmark, Norway, Russia, and those are those are broken down more at the bottom. But I, we typically stick to the most top performing ad sizes because obviously they are the most top for uh, top performing. But another thing is when you are going through and making ads, you don't need to make ads for absolutely everything. So for instance, if you're not doing any mobile ads, which is a little unusual if you're not, but if you're not doing any mobile ads, chances are you don't need the large mobile banner. But what I will tell my clients is, if you are going to be doing ads, you typically want to stick with you know, these five top performing ad sizes. And once again, um, we'll, we've got this all put into a PDF for you that looks like this, and we will actually, you can print it out, uh, and I'll show you how to get that in just a second. But right now, what I want to show you is I also want to show you exactly how we make our ads, because if you're making a single ad and you've got to do it five different ways, it can get very monotonous. So let's go through and I'll show you how we do it very quickly. So here we are at Canva, C-A-N-V-A, canva.com. We use Canva for absolutely everything because it saves us from having to hire a designer unless we're doing something very elaborate and it really is more just fill in the blank and it, it works, it's so easy to use. I hate messing with graphics, I'm not very good at it. This is something I found about a year ago and I can't live without this tool. So you go to canva.com, click in the box, go down and click on custom dimensions and then we'll start with the first one. Let's say uh, the most, the medium rectangle is 300 pixels by 250. That's one of the most popular sizes and make sure it's set for pixels here, create new design. Now you can see they have a bunch of templates already over here. Now what the thing is, is some of these are free, some of them you have to pay for. Let's say we have a restaurant and we're gonna promote a restaurant. Um, let's see, there's gotta be something in here. Uh, let's, yeah, uh, beer open bar. You just literally click that and here's exactly what pops up. Now you can click and you can change the background. You can change any of this here. So maybe uh, open, let's say it's a taco bar. Let's just get rid of the beer and let's just say it's an open taco bar and it's uh, Tuesday nights from five to 9 p.m. Now let's say you also want to change the color of this. Let's just say we want it, I don't know, red. And this one red as well. So maybe those are the colors of your business and you can change the font and you can um, italicize and you can do all of these different things just by pointing and clicking. It's very, very simple, but this is not a Canva, to, 
Canva tutorial. This is something I'm just showing you um, uh, how to do it and how to get different sizes. So once you're done with this, you can click uh, and let's just say we want to name it. This was the 300 by 250 ad. Now, once you have the ad the way you want it, all you simply do is go up here to this arrow, download it and download it to your computer. Once you've done that, then it's time to change up the ad size. So let's say the next ad size that you want to use, uh, let's change the name right away so we know what it is, 336 by 280. Then you would just go click it, you would click uh, resize, custom, 336 by 280, and resize. And you can see it just literally did that and made it bigger. Then you would download, uh, click the download button, download it again, and it will save it as what you've named it here. Then let's say we want to make a different size, like a more unusual size. Let's say we've already done this, we've already downloaded it. Let's go, let's do a half page ad. So 300 by 600. Let's go to resize, custom dimension, 300 by 600, resize. And as you can see, and let's put it so it fits on the page, It uh, there's a lot of writing down here, but maybe what you wanna do is you can just go ungroup. Maybe you wanna put specials at the top, uh, make it a little bit bigger. Then we can go open taco bar, make that bigger, obviously. Let's go a little bit bigger than that. Oop, that's a little bit too big. And then down here, maybe you want to make this bigger as well. And let's do something like that. And there you have your other size and you download that one as well. But that is how you can go through and essentially get these Google display ads, get a bunch of them done very, very quickly. And basically, so you don't end up having to hire a graphic designer if you're doing some very simple ads. Now you might want to, depending on, you know, uh, maybe some people just aren't very creative or they don't want to be, and they do hire a graphic designer, but this is a program that we've started using a ton, especially when we're trying to test ads. It's, it can get expensive if you're hiring graphic designers to say, Hey, I want this ad, but I want, um, you know, five different versions of it because I need one for each one of these ad sizes and we're going to test against some other ones. So then you end up buying two sets of ads. So which display ad sizes work best for you in your business? Is it the mobile banners? Is it the rectangles? Do us a favor, let us know in the comments below which ones work best for you. So if you'd like a printout of the exact sizes as well as the best performing sizes for your Google ads, you can download this PDF right now. There is a link in the description area below. And if you like this video, do us a favor, hit that like button below and check out some of our other videos to the right. Our newest one about site link extensions, as well as six reasons why your Google ads might not be showing up. Thanks so much for stopping by. See you next time.